Yep, back out yet again. Just a, a cheeky one, this. Bit cheeky. Oh, what's happened is, it's after work, and uh, because of the early nights, I just walked up that first bit, it's really steep. Whew. Like Helen fell on steroids. And I saw, um, I, the, the early nights, so I couldn't think of anywhere to go. So I'm going to do the Friday night, gun in the van tomorrow, Andy's camper van. Check it out, I'll be uh, hopefully doing a little video tomorrow, the camper van diary. It's not special, it's just me dicking about in the van, going to different places. <sighs> Showing you what I've done to the van and that, how we'll get on. Oh, that's brutal that walk up there from the car park. <laughs> I've got another another bit of brutality coming up on the hill there. Yeah, so I'm not feeling 100% today. I've been a bit poorly since uh, maybe Wednesday. Just feeling a bit under the weather. Not COVID, right? And start with that. Just feel a bit, ugh, you know, ugh. So, I, I just thought I'll get out. I nearly didn't come out, but to hell with it. It's me in it. I've got to come out. Got to. So I'm going to go up there. <sighs> Weather's all right at the minute, but it's forecast to change overnight and get a little bit wild. So I brought the solo with that in mind. I was going to bring me my cheap tent for one of its final outings, but no, I've went with a bit of caution, just in case the wind does pick up 49, 50 mile an hour, do you reckon? And I'm going to be on an exposed top as well, so yeah, phew, right, we'll push on, that's all you can do really, isn't it? losing the daylight. So, now that I've got my breath back, I'm going to go up there. That steep bit of death. It's only short, but God, it's steep. You can see from here, this first bit here. I'm going to be on my hands and knees. Brain, oh, Jesus. Could be worse. Could be over there. Look at that with the cloud on it. I think that's the, the back of the Cheviot. With Braden Crags to the right, the little stony outcrop or whatever you want to call it the stony top right. anyway enough jibber jabber i'm losing light oh man so we've done the the steepness of doom Whew. i'm getting fit i like not as knackered as i was last week that's the top and this Around about here, I think it's going to be where I'm pitching. Nice flat bit there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That'll do me. Whew. So, you got good views. There's the shell in the distance. All these. I'm not uh, quite familiar with these ones yet. I think we've camped, camped on a couple, though. That one there especially looks familiar. Maybe that one. When I got chased by the cows, it could be that one. But uh, that's Braden Crags over there, the Cheviot. West of Tors, camp there, a real wild, freezing cold night. East of Tors, camp there. Yever and Bell, camp there. The Moon, camp there. The Sun, camp on the Sun. I did, I really did. It was a nice warm night. <laughs> oh, this is another one of those um, Roman forts that was made out of bronze in the um, Stone Age. It goes all the way around like, see there's more stone here. Yeah. Made out of bronze. So if you get these, these, well they look like rocks, but if you scrape the, the surface, it's bronze underneath. 
The trick is nobody can carry them down because they're so heavy. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. Um, there's another hill over there which I camped on. I don't know if it's that one there or that one up there. I don't know, I can't remember. It was a while ago. Anyway, I'm going to pitch my tent because I have to work out where the southeasterly wind is coming from. Southeasterly wind obviously comes from the southeast, but which way is southeast? That's the west. I'll be the south. Southeast is that way, isn't it? So I'll have the back of the tent there. And that should be alright for the morning because the forecast is for it to change. It's coming westerly at the minute, which it is, albeit it's just a breeze. But it's supposed to get heavy, wild 40 odd mile an hour wind from the southeast, so that's the pitching position. Let's get on with it. Look at look at the sweat. Sweating on. That's the problem with me when I'm on my own, I walk too quick. If I'm with somebody else, I pace myself a bit better. I always end up sweating and out of breath. You learn to pace yourself. Here we go, we're in dim light conditions. Phew, it's quite there. Uh, it's still quite light out of the camera. <sighs> this light is doing me head in like. Anyway, tents up. There we go. Nice flat pitch that. Lovely and flat. It's perfect. So that's the flattest I've had it in a long time. Delta pegs in. Delta's in. It's pointing. Southeast is there, got the compass out. So that wind is gonna hit it there. Straight on the back, which is fine. Even on these tents, if it, if it hits these side panels. On the black label, it's a bit, it's a bit better than the red label. Because I think that you know the poles give it a bit more stability. So if the um the wind hits that panel on a red label, it tends to push in. And I know this because I've had a red label and it did happen to us. Partly why I got the black. But on this, I've had it hitting that panel before and it wasn't anywhere near as bad. So yeah, it's a little bit of a difference. But the way it's sitting there, that's spot on. Whew, right. I've got to start filling up with all my Rubbish. Be rubbish. And it is rubbish. Be winter. Be winter rubbish. Oh, here we are. I've got to show you this. This is the Phoenix HM65 TD or something. It'll be in the description. New head torch. Fantastic. See, I lost the one I had. Don't get us wrong, that one I had was mint, but I think they've stepped the game up. Nice big thick headband, it's really comfortable. There's a thing on the back there, which you turn, you get you get it so like, you know, so it's adjustable and then you turn that and it tightens it up for you. The little, the little wheel, I don't know if you've seen that. But the simplicity of this is what makes it the best. It's got a, a USB-C rechargeable battery in it. So you just plug it in. You don't need to take the battery out. So you switch it on. It's got a white light. That's one, two, three brightness. A heck of a beam on it. Look at the beam. That throws that beam quite far. I'll give you the facts later on. I've got them written down somewhere. All right. And it goes back down to the, the low beam, middle, high, high. It's a trail running head torch, but as far as I'm concerned, it's ideal for uh, camping. And they've got this warm white light as well, which is really nice in the tent. It's not too harsh, you know. I'll just put that light off. There's a nice warm white light, so you've got three settings on that as well. I mean, look at that. That's not a harsh light, that's a nice But then you can have the uh, the other one on as well. So you've got all the light in the world. Look at that man. So you've got two two beams either side. You can have both on at the same time. Or just one. Or you know, one, two, three. Ah, it's mint this. I'm liking it. It's very comfortable to wear as well. 
Oh, look at the beam it throws. It's fully adjustable, it goes up and down. It's not enough, so it goes up and down. And the adjuster. So you can point it down, point it up. There's one thing I don't actually I think could be better. They've got that like bridge bit over the, the two buttons there, and that gets in the way if it's all the way back. So whatever this bridge thing is here, that could be a little bit smaller. But you just bring it forward one, knock it on, and then tip it back. Aye. Spot on. Phoenix, right? Phoenix. How do you say it? F-E-N-I-X. I'll say Phoenix. Some people say Phoenix. But I think it's like Phoenix, like the bird rising, you know, like the flame, the fire and the light. So you make your mind up which one you want to choose. But I'm sticking with Phoenix. Aye, it's good. I like it. Needed it as well. Really needed another head torch. So we'll see how this pans out. Been using it all week and it's uh, still on the same charge. I'll come back with the figures later. Ah. Right. That's it. Just another little look at it. See, it's got that. You turn it like that. And that just point it right down. It's a lovely finish on it. Look at that. It's like a, a copper, copper rings on either side. That's the battery. It's one of them. Rechargeable ones. Oh, I can't get it out. But the, you just plug it in there. So it's a lovely thing. It's well made. Feels lovely. And it's only about 95 grams. It's light as a feather. It's really light. I'm so surprised. The adjustable headband. See, so you just turn that and it tightens it up on your head. They have that on um, hard hats on building sites. It's a good idea. Because how many times have you been out running and your head torch starts flopping about? That one's not going to do it. It's nice, man. It's vented, eh? So you can sweat. It's like it's got holes in it. I'm very impressed with that up to now. We will hopefully get a lot more use out of that. I won't lose it. HM65RDT. That's the model. Yep. Very good. Right, I am now going to put the kettle on. It's getting chilly. Of, uh, I see on hold it on and then tap 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 low medium bright and hold press and hold off same that side dead simple no messing about no like you've got to hold it and then count to 12 and then times by three and then double that one and triple press that none of that it's just on off it's mint I much prefer that like that's why you put the battery in there, and that's just to tilt it, tilt it up and down like, like that. You got your port there for charging. Ah, it's good. It weighs um, it weighs 91 grams excluding the battery, so it's about 100, 110 grams something like that. It's dead light. It's made of aluminium, I think. Anyway, the output um, it says high on the white light. It says the high output is 1300 lumens, medium is 400, and low is 130 lumens. And the runtime on high is 4 hours, um, on medium is 12 hours, low 24 hours. So that'll, on low that will run 24 hours, which is mad. Distance of the beam throws 170 meters. Um, medium 96 meters, like 96 meter throw. Imagine a hundred meter running track. Uh, that's on low. And uh, no, that's on medium. Sorry, low is 55 meters. Um, the warm white light is 400 lumens high. Uh, it burns for 12 hours. 
so you can just have it on the high all night. That'll throw a beam at 92 meters. Medium's 130 lumens, 24 hours. If you have it on low, on the white light, uh, the warm white light, low is five lumens. I mean, that is low. But it will run for 300 hours. <laughs> 300 hours. That's about six months. And it'll throw a beam, nine meters as well, on that. Ugh. I mean, that's that's amazing. It is submersible. IP68, right, I think means it can go um, down to, oh, what is it? It's 30 meters or something for, no, th three meters for 30 minutes. So it can go underwater, but only for 30 minutes. I'll bring it out after that. Um, but if you're running in the rain, that's not gonna, it's not gonna affect that in any way, shape or form. So that's good. That like you get the you get the headlight, the battery inside, the USB charging cable. There's a spare O-ring for the um for the battery, keep the water out. And you get the manual and a warranty card. But uh, I like it. I like it. And it's light as well. It doesn't feel like a big clunky thing on your head, you know. The Phoenix or Phoenix HM65RDT. Now it's not cheap, but my code Andy10. We'll get you 10% off, and I think you get 10% off any any light in the range, the whole range. Go and have a look on the website. I'll put the links in the description. But I'm absolutely loving that. Like, and it definitely, I said it a few videos ago, I definitely needed a new head torch. So hopefully this is the one. I will keep coming back. I'll keep using it, and we'll see how it performs there. Eh? See if I can break it. <laughs> I hope I don't break it. Also, I've got, um, oh God, it's getting really cold now. The temperature's dropping. And a couple of tips for keeping warm in the, the cold, right? So I came up, I walked up in a t-shirt and my waterproof coat. Waterproof and windproof, right? So the trick is keep the wind off you. So if there's any wind, it's best to have like a windproof, either a layer, you know, or a, or a coat. And that keeps the wind off. The wind is the killer. It really is. Um, when I came up, I got changed. I've put, a, I've got a spare t-shirt, a nice cotton, thick cotton t-shirt, a fleece, I've got my fleece, and then I've put my down jacket on. So I'm keeping warm. I'm not letting myself get cold and then warm up. You've got to preempt it sort of thing, so you know, get warm first, and you'll stay warm, really. Sleeping system is, I've got the, the foil mat underneath, double-sided foil mat. Get it on eBay, they're cheap enough. I've got the large one, because I used it in the, um, the other tent, it fits the floor of the other tent. Oh, this seat or something, that isn't my winter mat. The winter mat, like I've said before, is way getting repaired. But I mean, this is all right, with the foil mat, at the minute, there's no snow on the ground, so that's okay. I've got the Rab 1100 sleeping bag. I've brought the 1100 out because I was a little bit chilly in the 900. And just for extra warmth tonight, I've got the One Wind quilt, the poncho quilt, which is lovely. I, take, I use this in the van, and then when it, you know, when you're feeling cold, and you just wrap yourself up in that. It's nice, man. Synthetic, so it doesn't pack away the smallest, but. I did get it, I did get it in, and up, and then have a pair of light gloves. I normally ca carry the pair of the light gloves with us. Oh, I have problems with this light on top of this camera. These, uh Rab, oh, I can't remember what they're called, I can't remember the name of them. And then underneath, I put these on, Ron Hill, Ron Hill Tracksters. I'm going to put these on in a minute. Nice and light, but to keep the warmth in, you know. My trousers are just um, they're just lightweight, not the curtain things. These are Bridgedale Summit Series socks. So they're nice and thick, them. They're lovely and comfortable, them. Um. Yeah, and the boots the boots are waterproof because I polished them all up. I polished them and got them all waterproof, so they're good. Um, that's about it, really. And then drink loads of cold beer. 
<laughs> and ruin everything. No, I'll get something to eat inside, you know, I'll get something hot. I'm going to cook my tea shortly. I know it's, it's a bit early, but I'm going to do it. Just that'll warm us up. And earlier I had a cup of tea. I mean, if you don't, if you don't drink beer, just bring some hot drinks, you know. Hot chocolate, bovril, tea. And that's it. And if you get really cold, put your stove on and just warm up over the stove. So, hopefully there's a few little tips in there that people can take away with them. This, this quilt's great though. I just wish it went a bit smaller. It packs, packs really big, but, you know, I do get it in the bag. Right, I'm going to get the tea on, so get on with that. Oh yeah, I brought the extreme gas as well. That goes down to minus 27, that gas. Hopefully it won't be that tonight. God, this is like a camping video. I'm going to have to start being stupid. What's going on? Right, I'm about to start cooking my tea. Moving my quilt. The one wind poncho quilt. I've warmed up already. Oh, it's nice this, like. Why have I not used this before? You can tie it up around you. I'm in the middle of it. Poncho. Mm, it's good. Right, so we're gonna get the uh the old, oh. the old burgers on. Burgers are back. I can't be bothered to think of anything else really. Um, brioche buns, bit posh, bit of sliced extra pilgrim's choice. That's it. Just done my second can. Radio's on. Vernon K from Bolton did. Uh, he did a, a ultra marathon for children in need. It said he, he did 150 miles over four four days or five days, and he's raised four million pound. <laughs> My God, four million pound! That's amazing. I think that's a, a record for one of them challenges. Anyway, French's to go with the burgers. Very nice. So we'll get these on. Ooh, and hopefully they'll warm us up. I can feel it now. The, Kestrel's only seen it's like three degrees. That's not like there's no frost arrived yet. We all got the uh, the burgers on anyway. There they are. I caught them a little bit there on the pan. People have been asking about the stove. This is turning into a camping channel, I can't have this. The stove is MSR Wind Pro 2. I'll just put that one side for a minute, right? It's got a great simmer on it. It goes up nice and high. You want to boil. It goes down a right low simmer. It's mint. The beauty of it is, you know, you can invert the can, you can turn the can over. And that gives you the, uh, if it starts getting too cold out, you know what I mean? You just turn the can, invert the can, and we can get the rest of the gas out as well. Let's turn that down again. All right, so yeah, MSR Wind Pro 2. Oh, this light is doing me head in. It's a flipping, I charged it fully before I came out and it's just playing up. Don't know what's up there. Anyway. Put the bread ready. Nearly done. Very nice. <sighs> Got the Frenchies on. So I'm gonna have them and then clean my pan. And then just toss around for a bit. Not much to do really. Right, crack on.
going to gale. Not even budging. It's not even moving. Wind's coming and going like. Plane's terrible. Oh. It's cold. Not absolutely freezing, but it is cold. Discovered something about this which I was doing wrong. So you get the button and you like sort of click it up and then that, that's your adjusting strap there. You put it on and then you when you get it to the tension you want, which I had it there, and then you close it down. Push it down, yeah. And then it's, and it's the right tightness for you. So you pull it out, loosen it off or tighten it, and then click it back shut. Yeah, so that's, that makes more sense. You discover things all the time. As you use it, you discover more and more about them. You just keep using it. Gotta cut out. I have got to go out there. To answer the call of nature. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you've got to go though. You've got to go. <laughs> I fell over. Ugh. God, it's crazy. Chuck them down. All the way down. There you go. I'm going to put in my nest. Oh. Well. That's the storm that was coming anyway. It's arrived. Oh god. I'll try and get some more sleep. Put that panel there. Some sleep. 
attempts to take in this in Australia. With that, 25 mile an hour. 25 mile an hour gust. Last night was about 45. It just got wild. Anyway, morning fans of people who like watch camping videos for inexplicable reasons. You just like to watch me suffer, don't you? Anyway, I had a good lie in, like, but I was up through the night with the wind not from the not that wind that wind out there oh, it was nuts it got wild it rained as well quite heavy but that seems to be off ooh tada to you let's just poke out have a look safe in here this tent never moved man it never moved this is the big panel right on the red label that comes right in it comes to about here on the red labels and I know because I've had one on this that's about it that's where it was coming in and the wind was it's directly on that like hitting that I miscalculated the wind it's supposed to be like coming hitting the back of there but it's coming that way that doesn't matter doesn't matter I survived anyway well it's a nice clear day a good day for walking actually Oh, as long as the rain keeps on. But it is forecast to come back, the rain. Look at the TV, man. You can't see. That's lovely. Blanket of cloud like that. Not lovely if you're in it, Mike, but nice to look at from here. Now I'm going to get the kettle on and then make like a tree and get out of here. So I'm going to use the old pot of dreams. Ah, oh, dear. Ow! And then, uh, let's have a clear up and put everything away. Just shove it all in the bag. And then it's off to the van. Oh, the lovely van. Oh, my lovely van. <laughs> Here we go. Got the stove on. Three in yin. Oh, oh that's brutal. Brutal. Um just recording uh, 30 mile an hour constant wind 30 miles an hour so you know everybody who's like oh I was in 70 mile an hour winds you weren't like, you weren't I was in 70 mile an hour winds in me Lanshan 1 no you weren't you were probably in 30 mile an hour winds and I don't care what anybody says right 70 mile an hour winds I'd be bailing out even in this so, with that being said, I'm sat here now, boiling the water for me on the old volcano. And then we're gonna uh, start packing away <clears throat> and I'm getting away. So that's it. Right, well, I've packed my bag and tidied up. Everything's away nice and neat. However, rain's arrived. Look at it, man. Look at it. Oh, I'm gonna get drenched here. But, you know, that's what you're doing it. That's 
a soggy, rainy camp. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say draw now because I want to put the camera away because this uh, the hand grip is, isn't waterproof. I don't want to get it drenched. So not sure what I'm doing next week. Uh, might be out. Might have a week off. Depends how I feel. Feel a little bit better today, but still, you know. Oh, listen to that man, it's getting worse. It's supposed to be passing. Um, yeah, so I'll do a van video from today of me, me day out in the van. That'll be on the other channel. Check out Instagram. It's all just my name. I don't have a fancy name. Like the wild camping wet wanderer of the West. Just Andy Wardle. It's just me. That's my rubbish bag there. Look. Always have double bag. Double bag it. And then just sits in the top of there. So from the rainy Cheviot Hills, we're gonna say ta-ra to you. Ew. I've come back, breaking down the tent. And then the rain has gone that away. You can see it in the valley there. Just a shower. Look at this. The wind is gone. <laughs> it's bizarre. What's happened? It's really strange. Look at that. I had to come back for this, like. There's a little breeze picking up. It's totally the different direction. But that is strange. Very strange. Eerie atmosphere almost. But stunning. Look at it. I have to bring you back to see that. Right. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. As Kenny Rogers told Dolly Parton. So they both had to get the hell out of Dodge. Which is what I'm doing now. Right. Just thought I would... Mentioned that the wind has died off. That's weird. Really strange. Took me by surprise, that. 